Yesterday was a a very eventful stream. Jill got her revenge. It was amazing. Guys, they almost kissed. Um, I was so mad at Gav when he interrupted them. Uh, we fought Hugo. That was so much fun. I just loved the cutscene leading up to um, the whole Hugo fight. I was obsessed. Um, they're, they're so silly. Like, Hugo... I know he lost someone very important to him, but he just- he just makes me giggle. <laughs> he was throwing a tantrum. Yeah, everyone give him a hand because he doesn't have any. Uh... Also, someone took him away? Like, we- Clive couldn't kill him? Um... And I don't know who that person was, it was some, like, mysterious man. And actually, before we speak to Otto and, like, continue with this main quest... I think we're gonna go talk to... what's his face? Hippocrates? And maybe we can look at some, um... Some lore first. I would also like to do some of these side quests before we continue with the main story. Because I know that there's one that looks to be important for us. Yeah! Clive keeps getting called Mythos. So like, what's all that about? I, know. I don't know. Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Hello. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. She was an actual clown. Like she wasn't even with you because she liked you. I know. You have a question for me. I, I know. She was just using him. <laughs> like my God. Uh, okay, let's look at persons of interest. <gasps> we also saw Joshua yesterday, you guys. Joshua is sick. Um, the poor baby. He's holding Ultima in his heart. He can sense that Clive is using his powers again. Um... Also, we met Olivier. Olivier is half-brother to Prince Dion and Clive. And Joshua. Yes, which is... I don't know what to think about that. Okay. So there's the hooded man. But they don't give us any information about mysterious man. Magic barriers? Some dominants have the ability to call upon a part of their icon's power to summon a ward, a non-impervious barrier that no magic nor matter can cross. However, its maintenance requires a continuous channeling of ether through the summoner's flesh, taking a heavy toll upon them. The larger the barrier, the greater the burden. Joshua, you're hurting yourself by doing that. Um... Oh, ancient mural. So, I think these murals are gonna be at every Mother Crystal, because there was one in Rosaria, and then there's also one in, oh god, where were we yesterday? The Iron Kingdom? A wall painting found in the depths of the Apodotary under Phoenix Gate. Who created it and for what purpose is unknown, but the celestial being in the center suggests some connection to a long lost religion. I wish I could like zoom in on that mural. <clears throat> yeah, lore. I love the lore. This is so nice. I'm just like obsessed with this feature. Um, Ultima's Thralls? Oh, twisted, glowing blue creatures that awaited Clive and Jill deep within Phoenix Gate to try and prevent them from gaining the innermost recesses of the Apodotary. Oh my god, Clive looks so good there. Media. A burning red star that sits beneath the moon. Folklore ascribes to Media. The role of message bearer to the moon, so it is common custom across Blessia to wish upon the star that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. Mm. 
Missos. Or Muthos. That's what I should say. The name by which Ultima addresses Clive, it appears to be his title for the vessel for limitless power that he means to make of the young Lord Mar Marques? But to what end he acquires such a thing, only Ultima knows. Okay. I think... Hmm. A vessel for limitless power. So... I feel like Ultima is trying to use Clive to get all the power of the dominance to be this, like, overarching god, basically. To, like, rule over everyone. I don't know. <laughs> also, hi, commonly, welcome in. Uh, Xada, hello. Very disappointed at TwitchCon there's no Clive art. That's so sad. I feel like it's so early though. You know, because it just came out. Are you excited for the upcoming Honkai banners? <laughs> Who are you rolling for? I didn't even know there was any new banners commonly. <laughs> Found a Vivian also has a cool feature with a family tree. Oh, I am gonna look at that actually because yesterday since it had been a while, um, since I played the game, I was like getting kind of confused during some of the cutscenes, even after reading the lore. Okay, Vessel, a name that the being known as Ultima gives to Clive. It appears to be synonymous with Mythos. Did you learn everything you needed? Yes, thank you. Tone says he's looking for but like, my question is, why Clive? Like, how did he get this power? How did he become this vessel? Was he just born? Born with it? Do they choose him? I have so many questions. Yeah, who even is Clive? <laughs> Emmy, same here. <laughs> also, subtext, hello. Yes, more 16 today. How you doing? Came from the reaction, I'm a big fan from Zill. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming over from YouTube. I hope you're doing good today. Ah, my favorite pupil. Hello. Allow me to educate you. Okay. Um. All right. Holy cow. Of course. What in the world? This is crazy. Y'all, do you see this? That is so wild. Yeah, a game was made for Lord of Hours. They really did such a good job. Okay, let me... Oh my god, this is wild. Let me go... Here. Present day. So true, Freezy. I know, I love lore videos. I'll probably watch a lot of analysis videos of this game. When I'm done with it. Hi, Kit Kat. I know! Look, best friends! So cute. Okay, so we have Clive. This is so sad. <laughs> the way he's grayed out. It's fine. <laughs> Clive. Jill. Mm, we have Odin over here. We haven't- I don't even think we've met- Well, we've like- we've seen Odin. But we haven't seen Barnabas, I'm pretty sure? Okay, this just brings up the ATL. Wait, let me read about Hugo. Okay. 
Okay. Curse Breaker Scout. I love Gav. I love him so much. Amari, hi. Also, Jose, welcome in. <laughs> Dominica's grayed out too. <laughs> oh my god. We have Joshua. I love Joshua. And Yota. Wealthy Noble. Oh yeah, that's Byron. Poor Alwyn is gone. Freaking Annabella. Annoying us. I feel so bad that Dion is now somehow related to her. Okay, okay. Let me look yeah. at the situation map. Uh, Kupka and his private guard, the men of the rock, capture Rosalith. Though Clive and his friends are able to put the Delmex to the sword, Clive is unable to deal the finishing blow to the injured dominant thanks to the unexpected intervention of a mysterious stranger who spirits him away. Who, know wh who knows where? Okay. This is so helpful. I love this. Alright, what's all the way over here? Drake's spine. Okay. Man. Hi, Aaron. Welcome in. Just beat this game. The story is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm loving it so much. I think we're about like... Maybe a little less than halfway through? Anna smell us so true. None of the Empress's favorites. Well, you like to as well as so they don't force they these things on you. You can look at them. Yeah, or you can ignore them. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let's... Before we talk to Otto, I think what we'll do is we will do some of these side quests. So let's do the important one first. We're gonna go to Martha's Rest and we're gonna look for... I think we're, we have to look for flowers? Hi Lackle and John, welcome in. How are you? Alright, um... We gotta go all the way over there. All the way over to Sorrow Eyes. I feel like 16's come, I click more than 15. Yeah, I... That's what I hear from a lot of people. I've been loving the combat so much. And actually, we can try out Titan's new abilities while we go through this, um... This field. And John, thank you for grabbing your seat. I'm trying to decide what I want to play after we're done with Strikers. Okay, um... Let me look at my abilities. Because part of me is like... Okay, here are the three different games that I want to play that we could play after Strikers. We could play Nier Automata or Final Fantasy XV or Final Fantasy IX. I don't know what one. Joe! Oh my god, thank you for gifting us up to hi, Alana. <laughs> Joe, how are you? <laughs> Welcome in. Struggling with them, but you're beginning to get the hang of them last week. Now you've had a week off, you've probably forgotten everything. Yeah, it's like, it's been kind of strange, like coming back after a week, Kirstie, but I think you'll get the hang of it. Okay. So... Let's see... Oh man. Titan block. Oh yeah, you just block like that. Uh... Okay. Love that. Okay, so I think that, like... Can 
kind of shakes the ground. Oops. And it gets the enemies on their feet. Hey, party, welcome in. Um, rumor has it there's a nine remake. That's why I heard too. So part of me is like, oh, <laughs> do I wait? But also, I don't want to wait because I feel like if they haven't even announced it, it's not going to come for another, what, like, two years? I'm so sorry, Bluebird. I don't want to do this, but... Okay, there's a blocking. Oh, Slay. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, wait. When the guard is timed perfectly... Okay, so I have to... I have to time the guard. I can't just hold it up there. Raj, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate it. How are you? Time is flying, isn't it? Um, consider playing Replicant before Automata. Wait. I know Freezy has played it. What is what what is the best way to play the near series? Okay, that did not work. Come on. Oh, slay. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Huh, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Um, Juwan, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome in. I feel like your emotes and your sub badge. Slay. Okay, that's fun, but also. I think I can also hold this wind up as well to wind up to wind up more. Um you can play them any way you want, but technically a replicant is first. Okay. Freezy, did you play replicant? Has some callbacks to the original game that you might miss, but it's not a huge deal. Okay. I need to go this way. Let's get Ambrosia. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ambrosia. Let's go. <laughs> um, there's incredible charm to the original nine. Don't know how necessary a remake is. Making seven always made sense. Nine is cool. Oh, storybook art style you would miss if replaced with something more pixel-looking. Oh, Interesting. Let's see if they're damp enough for more Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to try to fight these things. Oh. You stop that. Okay, okay. Replicant gives good background on characters that you've heard, but you don't think your experience will change much in which you play first for near. Okay. Thank you, I am doing good today. You feel like blocking you should try the third skill for Titan? Ooh, full JoJo moment. <gasps> Hello? 
there guarding the flowers that I need. Not this goblin. He certainly wasn't wrong about that. Oh, should I try blocking this guy? <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's freaking go! Climb is too good. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Thank you so much for the heal. Love it. Oh man. The third titan skill's the best, so much stagger damage. Okay, wait, let me look at the third titan skill. When it was in the demo, love the abilities, I get bonus damage. Ooh, yeah, when they dodge an attack. Hi, alligator, welcome in. Titan was the most of icon for you. Definitely understand that, Barry. So... Let's see here. So this is the third one, Raging Fists. Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna learn this. Is there a way? <sighs> you know what? I wish that there is a way for us to reset just like certain abilities instead of resetting everything. Unless there is, y'all can tell me. You can, wait, how do you do that? Hold square over certain abilities. Oh, oh, you can't reset the default ones. Oh, I didn't even upgrade Rama. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Moogle blush, isn't it cute? I love it. Also, hi, Salga. Welcome in. I know, poor Sid. No wonder I was like, wow, Rama's abilities are kind of shit. <laughs> um. I never use this. Wow, 40 ability points. Thank you so much. I also don't really know if I like stomp, but I guess we'll keep that. I like the charge magic. I like magic burst. Maybe we should upgrade our limit break sometime. Yeah. <laughs> 
Finding yourself so you don't spend money on Torgal's plushie. Okay, Barry, but what if you did? See, I'm just an enabler, so if someone's like, I might, I kind of want this, kind of want to spend money, I'm just going to tell you to buy it. <laughs> um, you like Rama's skills, but you hate the circle? Like, this circle? Is that what you mean? Wicked Wheel. Um. Okay. So let's. Let's upgrade this. And I think instead of upheaval, we will use raging fists. Okay, let me look at wind up. Okay. Hi Clay, welcome Hi, in. Yeah. Also, thanks for the files, everyone. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, Morgan beards. I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. Clive is in his botanist era. I love this for Something him. familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Oh, Clive, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Yes, Raging yeah. Fist is a time counter like Rick's Gambit. Okay. I've had my fill of goblins. Um. Let me actually read about these. Okay. If timed precisely, the first strike can block an incoming attack. Oh, that reduces ability cooldown by 50%. That's so nice. So you have to time it, okay. I feel like I should go to the training center and try to fight some things, you know? Oh, is it easier than Rook's Gambit? Very, yes, fanfics of the game. I love it. That makes me so happy. Um, okay, so we have to go down to Nigel. Jill white as a sheet What's the catchy fan club? <laughs> that is that is just me saying that I am a part of the fan club for Goro Catchy from the hit JRPG Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> oh, what a lovely friend. Um It also reminds me of motherly betrayal and my father's assassination as well as my parent death. <laughs> <laughs> and when I killed my brother. <laughs> it is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy nope. part. But it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. Ooh, do we get better potions? Extract the essence from the petals. Okay. And here we are. 
A file of pure Morgan beard extract. Is this what Joshua was drinking? A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. Oh. At least I hope it will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nigel. <gasps> Hi, Tina. Thank you for the 25 months of using your prime. How are you? Morgan beard extract. Adding butter drop of this concentrate extract to any curative or performing enhancing potion will increase its potency. Okay. Interesting. Um, both potions. Oh, and high potions now restore more HP while strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last longer. That's so nice. Thank you so much, Nigel. Um, people need to play Persona 5 at some point in your life. Always hear about the game. It's so good. It's like so long. I started it last October and I finished it in, I think, February of this year on stream. It was like one of the best experiences I've ever had. So much fun. Okay, now we're gonna do this last side quest. You like to finish Persona 5? Long game, you get anxious over evolving so many personas. Oh yeah, I get that. There is a lot to do. Um, I definitely started feeling like overwhelmed with stuff once I got to like the 50 hour mark. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> There's just so much. Look at this place. Let's hope the draper has Hortense's cloth. Uh, here? Hello. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits. But bandits, of course. Bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south. Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the well wishes. All right, let's go here. Yeah, Bayray, for me, it took me 145 hours. Um, does it get repetitive? Um... Hmm... I think there is like some repetition in that it follows like the same formula where you finish a palace and then you like uh oh you have to wait a few days before like something in the story happens but i didn't mind that damn birds a menace she made nothing by it i swear now what's going on here who's gonna buy my wares now state your animals left oh, me no. They hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. This Only poor guy! Only after brain trampled me, I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these th these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. He sounds so scared. From Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection <laughs> and coin too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. Oi, killer! It's time to collect. I told you. What the hell? 
and we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Vandis! <laughs> As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I love Clive. Okay. I'll deal uh... with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Oh Stop shit. Calling me that. <laughs> okay. 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 That is so slay. God. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. I don't know how I feel about this move. Let's freaking go! so good <laughs> wow you hi hello welcome in man <laughs> all right all right you made your point <laughs> killer my ass did he hurt you all right all right no, no thankfully he seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. Clive is so nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hi, Misaki Flower. Welcome in. <laughs> Protect the face, right? <laughs> so, you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? Thank you so much. My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. That's All right, done, and now we can go back to the hideaway. Man, we are treated so differently when we don't have a brand. It's actually ridiculous. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry, I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Oh, 
Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? Hi. I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. Gregor's ghost? Let's have a bit of a draper. Expects me to pay for these. It was free. You didn't worry on that score, Hortense. Who is he, Hamish? You're a gift. The service is rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Is she going to give us something? Black embroidered linen, white continental silk, or lush red velvet? Guys, is she gonna give us like new clothes to wear? This is a pineapple question. Cause I need to know what, 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 if this is an important choice. You have no idea what this does yet? Okay. Very much so choice paralysis. Um. Don't think so. God damn it. Okay. Let's just let's just go with red velvet. This one, I suppose. Have a mind to give a piece to Jim. <gasps> oh Did you know she's quite the little seamstress. Oh. I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't mm -hmm. you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories. Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess, then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Cute. Um, Curse, you picked Red Velvet also. I know a seven remake purple tre purple dress trauma. Lady Hortense. <laughs> I just want them to do something like that in rebirth. <laughs> uh, so true, Masaki. Like Clive, the most gorgeous man to exist in a video game ever. The voice Masaki. acting is so good. Is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. Okay. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Fiery youth. Mid. Mid? When did you get back? <laughs> Just now. <laughs> what about your studies? Adjourned. Is this? Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will he be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Is this anyway, Sid's daughter? Here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. 
which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Okay. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? What's going on? My fee for bringing Mid across. I can't I believe they named her Mid. <laughs> that little. <gasps> oh, Storm, it's it? funny. I wonder what. What is mid plotting? Oh. Student of engineer. Wait, mi Mididal? Telemann? It's plotting. I forgot what Sid's last name is. I just remember that um, Sid said he had a daughter. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Hi, Mid. <laughs> you took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Oh. You've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. So oh, me about it. He sent me off to I think this is his daughter. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. Okay. If sick could see you now. All right? <laughs> I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. Be so. I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? Oh, she's gonna make us get to work. <sighs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> first things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Oh! <laughs> that makes me emotional! Where to start? Materials oh. and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Lord! Coffee, hello. No worries. Do you think Clive has more or less pants than Cloud? <laughs> um, I think Clive has more pants than Cloud. Clive loves his soldier outfit. Have you ever seen him without that soldier outfit on? Maybe like once. Although Clive like never takes this off. But like, he has his own... Nice big room quarters and everything. I know, I wish we got dad and daughter banter. Man, so sweet. Oh, they updated. <laughs> they updated this. Daughter of Sid and student of engineering at the University of Canberra. From a young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father, and an even greater aptitude. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins, and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Man. So sweet. Hi, Karen. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list.
Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. But as for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it was. Making water filters? I'll send the stuff on to mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Wait. Oh. Medaddle. I was gonna say, what if her what if her real name was Medolphus? <laughs> like Sidolphus. Blackthorn, <laughs> you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. I still wonder who her um mother is? You think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Bardolph. On the pier? Okay. It's all right. Is it on the ATL? I don't think so. Nope. Just daughter of Sid. Yeah, woman in STEM. God bless. Made some <laughs> made of filters. She's got to uh, trademark that. <laughs> Maybe for Sid, I'm not sure. I mean, I can go check. Imagine if Benedicta was secretly her mother, given the hair and Sid was with her at one point. That's what I thought, Kai. I was like, maybe Benedicta was, but also... I feel like they would mention that. Should be enough to keep. I don't know. How do, Master Sid? Hello. Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You what know, other fella? Over at Martha's rest. Oh! Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Okay. Um. To Martha's rest. Is mid the set of kid? Yes, Kalini. Also, Katie. Hi, Katie. How are you? Um, and Ariana Kai, I don't know if I have you yet. Welcome in. Thanks for grabbing your seat earlier. Ms. Mom got pregnant just from hearing Sid's voice, as everyone does. <laughs> Look at the candles. Have there always been this many candles in this place? I don't even know. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Uh, home find itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Uh... Cressida? All the way over there. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll 
I'll just go from here. Here, excuse me. Stay sharp. Sid's kid mid. The standards down. I want to use ambrosia. There we go. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Um, also, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. What a good chocobo. Hmm. Part of me is like, maybe I should fight these things to practice fighting the Titan more. Oh, you know what I want to do? Wait, how do I dismount? There we go. Okay, let's try and fight this thing. Hey! Oh man. like the stomp like it kind of bugs me Chris and Bambukas, thanks for grabbing your seat. How y'all doing? Wish I made running on Chocobos faster. I agree. Also, I wish Clive ran faster too. Like, sometimes it takes too long for him to start running. I'm like, can we, <laughs> can we go? I was going the completely wrong way. Now... I wish there was a mini map in this game too. Okay. I have to go this way. Yes? She had a man agrega mopping their Please teach me how to fight. Oh. We got a chest. Slower Clive moves more time. We get to stare at him, honestly. That is a positive of it. How do I get down there? Stay sharp. You have to go this way. But the Empire have dragoons. Okay. I think this is the right way to go. At least I hope it is. Hey! Not but wild beasts this end. All their twisted talons and gruesome maws used to turn my stomach. But that was before I heard about the black shields. Okay. <laughs> um, you can drift with the chocobo? You can drift with it? Like Mario Kart? <laughs> okay, wait. When is Final Fantasy, when is Square Enix gonna give us, um, Chocobo Racing? Or Chocobo Kart? I would like to see it. I mean, they had the, the Chocobo minigame in 7, right? Maybe they'll put that in Rebirth. <laughs> Wait, there is one? Um, do I need to play this? What console is it on? 
You can in 14? Okay, I need to play 14. Switch? What? Hi. Oh, if it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And uh, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. Bernard, thank you. That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Do you need me to defeat the monsters? Oh. Well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Aww. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even passed Burner. up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. I gotcha. It's time to use these Titan powers again. Uh, check a boss, hello. So it's on Switch and you can in 14 and 15. 63 review score, Metacritic, Metacritic and 2.2 .2 user score. <laughs> oh god. Um, also, race pace, I think you can do solo runs of 14. This shouldn't take long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I love it. I need to upgrade that, I think. Okay. Well done, oh my god. Thanks, boy. Too slow. Nice. I didn't mean to use that potion. Too slow. 
Ouchie. Jeez. Okay, okay. Okay, so you can play 14, a story just entirely solo besides... Oh, from some early parts? Okay. Isn't the punching insane? So much fun. Um... Titanic Black always feels so good. It's so nice. Also, hi, B. Welcome in. And Rez, hello. Yeah, I've only gotten the Raging Fist counter a few times. That's so satisfying. It. I like it a lot better than uh, short work of that lot. the lightning. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace oh. once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Bless your soul, Burner. Um, Rez, thank you for the 14 months. Every single prime here. Uh, you take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Okay. Prism, hello. In your ego, hello. How y'all doing? Scumunculus, hi. All you do is struggle while racing 14. <laughs> do y'all remember the, um... The Chocobo racing in Final Fantasy X. That sucked ass. It wasn't even racing. It was just like... What do they call it? You just had to get balloons. That was the worst. You could barely control the Chocobos. Should we say hi to Nectar? Hi! You're so cute! Okay, I just wanted to see up close of you. <laughs> Who are you? Blackthorn may be the manliest. Hopeless of men, romantic? But he does lack a certain tenderness. Oh. Goots, meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth, but as innocent as a babe in arms. And how about me? How about Clive? <laughs> the damn balloons, yeah. Horrific. All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there? Anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. She's so excited! Oh my god. She's one of your favorite NPCs, Asta. Thirst over everyone, loves seeing who she's in love with next. Ooh, wind up. Hmm. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. We get to go see Jill. Nobody panic. Clive, don't don't just shit your pants. Oh, uh, Clive. <laughs> Talia, how's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. 
Of course. Oh, maybe we can't see her. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. Yeah. The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. Oh, yeah. He must have found something. Okay, we can't see Jill. Unless... Oh, we can see Jill! Hi! I'm feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest. Okay, we'll let you rest. Treatment Diary. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that it could heal, but not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. Jeez, Tarya. I didn't know if she was like that. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. Oh. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I know. I still wish there was some other way. Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. Rodriguez is pretty. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. I gotcha. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herblor like Taya. Herblor? She swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look. And fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Okay. Sure. Gap yeah, looking up. Why is my dog a transformer? <laughs> um, I think Mid has a Geordie accent. It's Yorkshire, like her dad. I I would not be able to tell you. I'm not an accent expert at all. <laughs> hey, uh, what's the <laughs> all right. What do you want, Doris? Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked. Of course, by it's the goblins. It's always the goblins. The stole us amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that they Cole the better be dangerous. alive. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them, what risks they might take because of the things I've said. I will find them. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that. In the Dragon's Airy? Should be enough to go on. 
If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Okay. All right, we got two side quests. Um, I think we'll speak with Gav first, just to see what he says about Torgal. I know the goblins need to chill. They're everywhere. Hey, Clive, where have you been? Did you miss I've been me? I to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries and. Well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Oh, he already has a Clive, theory. I believe that Torgal may be no mere <gasps> hound, but a rare frost wolf. Frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the mm -hmm. north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frostwolf. No. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. That's so cute. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. Oh. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> there you are! <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they writing like that? <laughs> uh, Lord. Hi, Ninja Lord. Welcome in. Um, uh, Norikuro, hello. Are they already done building? Oh my gosh. Bernard's a fast worker. <gasps> Ain't it brilliant? It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> you and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Girl, I believe in you. She's so excited. Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to jump there. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. You're no, welcome. Oh. I love this! You did miss the nuts, Trav. 
entire burden realm will come in. <laughs> yeah, Torgal was buried in them. Oh, Torgal! You like me, but she's also your least favorite part of the game so far. Ooh, that's your hot take of the day! I mean, I just met her, so I feel like I don't really have an opinion. I think she's- she's very spunky. She brings happiness. We Under love a woman in crop. STEM. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. Also, who is the freaking mysterious man? And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? What's going on? We, um, have a guest. A guest? Who? I'm scared. For your trouble. <gasps> oh, it's, it's Uncle. <laughs> Uncle Byron? <laughs> Clive, my boy! How did he find Have a this place? And stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. Meanwhile. Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. <laughs> go Still, away! Go away, Annabella! Substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us. Freaking Sylvester. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Olivia's like, are they talking to me? Very good. <laughs> oh my god. Dion. Now, let Annabella, us come to the question of precisely bitch. when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. He also doesn't have two hands. 
As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. <laughs> Sylvester and Annabelle yeah. were made for each other. Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But sire... He doesn't want to, though! Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. He doesn't want to kill! He doesn't want to kill, you guys! Well, he, he doesn't want his people to get hurt. Okay, I want to read about this. The Wyvern Tale, the elegant white flower that is a symbol of the Holy Empire of Sembrek. Twinside, the formal capital of the Crystalline Dominion, after, an, after a unilateral maneuver by the Holy Empire of Sembrek in 873, it became the Imperial capital. Man, I know, poor Dion. Literally, when you finally meet someone as evil as you, they both suck ass. Also, Jay, hi. Jamin, hi. Tekka, welcome in. He does deserve better. It's so sad. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Oh no, you guys. I'm like... <laughs> I'm gonna get really attached to him. Uh. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. <laughs> I hate her! <laughs> I hate her so much. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Oh my god, that's right. We got that cutscene. Right when Uncle Byron got here? Jesus Christ. Yeah, the tension. Taking star signs is fact- I know, to hate his son? Like, come on, Sylvester, you freaking ass. The have been up yeah. Just one thing after another around here. I love learning more about Dion. So he, like... He's very noble. Um, I hope that, I hope that Joshua actually gets to talk to him. 
just kind of seems like Dion has no one right now. But, like, understands? Understands him? Hi, Chan, welcome in. How are you? Saw some super good fan of Dion today who give the man the right to be so pretty, no, literally. Um, also, Kirsty, no worries. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to watch your stream today. Sylvester Zodiac Mommy Energy. <laughs> In Lamb, yes, I know. So many bad parents. Like, I miss Elwyn. Sid was good too. But they're both gone. Ah, my dear nephew. How I've missed you. At least you have Byron. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wayne. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith upon Tisolda. I was, aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? Oh. There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like Gab and um, Byron would get along really well. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kupko withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Oh? Come here and I'll show you. Vivian's gonna bless us with her knowledge? It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalist did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Whither would you take him? Drake's Fang, <clears throat> a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo's huh. safe retreat. Okay. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost 
crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe mm. that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you. Byron's gonna come way. with us? As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. Byron. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. <laughs> Whenever anyone tells us that they're coming with on our journey, I'm just like, please don't, because I don't want you to die. <laughs> oh, it scares me. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop, I hear. So, 2,000 talents is 20 million gil. That's insane. Oh my god. I am bad, and I know, I know the, the prelude is so nice. I think we're gonna talk to Otto. <laughs> Say hi to Otto. It's finished outfit, no also, thank you for the follows, everyone. I appreciate that. And yes, yeah, sir, thank you for the tier three for seven months. That's so nice. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Oh. Let me know if um the audio is a bit too loud. Oh wait, I was not supposed to go out down here. Where am I going? Oh. I literally ran away from Otto. <laughs> Alright, sir. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Is Gab gonna, gonna come with two? I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Dalamil. Rosina Dalamil? Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. You're <laughs> coming with me. Thank fuck for that. What would you have against Byron? <laughs> I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Yeah, that was hilarious. Um, also had his high. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. I'm not Come, ready. Let us away to adventure. I need to buy potions. I'm guessing this is gonna close us off from side quests. No, oh, it's not, okay. Well, I wanted to buy potions. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. It's fine. Jeb, hello, welcome in. I love this music. <sighs> I was a young man when last I walked this path. 
Torgal's gotta be sweating. They all have to be sweating in these There's long sleeves and these coats. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Oh my gosh. I love these new environments. Riddle of the Sands. All right. That was a big desert. Uh, hi, Liga Visual, come in. And Fennekins, hi. How y'all doing? Let me save. Uh... All right, cool. And let me look at my abilities. I have 971 ability points. I think we should upgrade one of these. Oh gosh. I would like to upgrade Raging Fists. And I need about 30 more points, so I think I'll wait to do that. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Dune? Welcome well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the Hello. Oh. Oh shit. Don't attack Byron like that. <laughs> Clive's beating up the birds like it's nothing. Uh, Lucia just woke up. Need your daily dose of Clive. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hope you have a good morning. Does anyone have fun weekend plans, by the way? Since it's almost Friday. Slayer. Okay, how are our ability points? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna upgrade Raging Fists. Amazing. Um, folks are coming up on Saturday. Ooh, and taking you out for lunch. That sounds nice. Do you know what you're getting for lunch? Are you still gonna stuff to decide? Also, Trav Me Too. They're so much fun. I think Phoenix and Titan is probably like, they're probably on equal level for me right now. Which is surprising because I literally just got the Titan abilities. You have housework plan, live in large. Always gotta get housework done though. Oops. Hey! You and I rode up five. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. Oh, so Clive has been here before. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. Aww. You were 
were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Byron laughed about all this. Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, falling like a babe. <laughs> You why you're going to Comic Con? Oh my gosh, in San Diego? I didn't know that was this weekend. Um, Cartoon Factory workforce, surprise the whole staff and us. They're, they're, oh my god, y'all are going to Comic Con as well? What the hell? Fennigans, you're going to a wedding? Oh my gosh. Sounds like fun plans. I'm just gonna be resting um, and cleaning because y'all, my apartment's a mess. Since I haven't really been able to clean <laughs> since I was sick. Okay. Look at the chocobos! I could ride Ambrosia, but I don't really want to. Oh my god, they have like sand tornadoes and everything. Um, was the Titan fight so epic? Yeah, so we haven't fought the actual Titan, but we fought Hugo, and that was so ah, much fun. There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this mm. heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, <laughs> quick drink before we press on? Sure, sure, let's get some... Let's get some drinks, Byron. Um... Try your favorite is Silgeruda, but you like, ooh, Titan second. What's up, Toggle? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. Oh. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Okay, before we do this, let me see if there's any lore to read. Um, I feel like you guys always at a convention. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that too. <laughs> Comic Con next weekend. Oh, just going early. Okay. I know I love Byron. He's the greatest. Um. Also, Leech just hi. Can't say I haven't played 16, don't want spoilies. Wanna say hey before we go back to the P5 Armands. Welcome in. Also, yeah, no problem. Um, thank you so much for saying hello. Also, I hope you're enjoying the VODs. Um, okay, the Royal Knights of Walud. The Kingdom of Walud's main battlefield force is also known as the King's Guard. While they ultimately answer to King Barnabas, the Knights' orders are usually issued by their Lord Commander. The Royal Intelligencers, a special unit led by Benedicta Harmon, Dominant of Garuda are a notable exception to this rule, reporting as they do directly to the king. So they are the ones who have Odin. Okay. Yes, because Barnabas is Odin. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Dalamil in? In? A literal oasis in the Velcroy, a desert in the western part of Dalmechia, Delamil offers goods, food, and respite to those travelers who endure a long march through sweltering sands. In particular, the hot spring baths fed from nearby waters will not only ease the pains of the robe, but are also rumored to cure all manners of ills, from boils to buboes to the various afflictions to the groin, many of which are like to be contracted at one of the Dalamil's many brothels. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like those hot springs are probably just so 
Gross. <laughs> I would not go in there. Clive, you gotta put that sword away. What the hell? Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. <laughs> what do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with Not a chocobo and honey. soup. Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Jeez. Oh, pal, would you rather be my squire? <laughs> this food kind of looks nice, though. Like, okay. Haven't figured out, yeah, chlorine solution yet, unfortunately. Is Joshua here? <coughs> no, he's- is he really sick? Still, he's just not getting better. Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. <laughs> oh my god. I just know they're not going to be able to see each other. And I don't know if Yota would recognize Clive at all. Oh my god. God, they're so close, though. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. <laughs> Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a mm. bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Uh-oh. Byron? Byron? Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. <laughs> hey, you. Uncle? Sorry. <laughs> Yota? Wait, wait. Uh. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. <laughs> my heart. You are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, go. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let them 
friend. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. They're like, what? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Oh shit. Okay. Let's Stay go. Back, Gladly. Is he just going to hide under the bar? Okay. Okay. Amazing. I love this man. <laughs> you can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. Uh, let's see. Play. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to do all this, but like, why not? It's over. <laughs> They were just silly little guys. <laughs> Plum, hi, welcome in. If you go photo mode mid fight and angle the camera near the counter, you can see Byron sitting and eating. I love it. <laughs> also, Terry Topsy, thanks for grabbing your seat. Welcome in. Plum, I'm so excited for you to play this. It's so much fun. I'm actually obsessed with it. Yota, you better have been watching. You better see that this is Clive and go tell Joshua. For your trouble. <laughs> uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> this man! Oh my god, the water is so blue. Now's our chance. Your grace? I'm fine. Joshua, you're not fine though. The vegetables! <laughs> he was right there! He was right there! <sighs> oh 
my heart. Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press <laughs> on before any more of their friends turn up. Okay. Man, that's so sad. Amanda, hi, welcome in. <laughs> the carrots, yeah. And butts, and no wonder Josh is coughing bad. He keeps avoiding. Yeah, he's, he's avoiding his veggies. He's gotta eat them. Look, father. Water. But where are the bearers who heated it? It wasn't heated by magic. It comes out of the ground like S the hot springs. This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing waters. And all Can I actually buy stuff here, though? I don't know if I can. Um. Okay. Man. <sighs> I miss Joshua. Uh oh. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. Perhaps we have to go we in the back way. Hmm? Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Okay. Looks oh, like we're going there back are some merchants. Traveling are trader. For something in particular? Oh, platinum sword. I would like this. Yes, please. My thanks. Hunter's waist cloth. An excellent choice. My thanks. Breath of lightning. No. Um. Wow, I can actually buy this, but <laughs> I'm not going to. I still have these freaking elixirs. Uh, I forgot that I could equip these on my um on my D pad buttons. Subjects, you did miss him picking out. Yeah. Final Fantasy Depression, more like, exactly. Also, hi Zodi, welcome in. It, it's it been a pretty good day of 16. It has been too sad, thankfully. See, part of me doesn't want to sell this because this is passed down from Elwyn. We can't sell this sword. We're not going to. We can sell the Pleasure coral sword, though. With you. Um... Okay. Gilbert. So we have to talk with townspeople? Oh, here's someone over here. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, <laughs> we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. What an actor. Where to find them? Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Maybe that's well, a code name. 
Thank you all the same. Hmm. But also, there's the yeah. She's literally named after the inn, or the inn is named after her. Drama nerd uncle. He's so good. <laughs> What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalla. Clive just gets to the point. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Briar's Kiss. You can find a smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. Okay. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Briar's kiss. Sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential <laughs> sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Mommy, I want to play with the crystal. Oh. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamel. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Baths. Thank you kindly. <laughs> This water, you guys, it's so gorgeous. Excuse me, Byron. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you can see the fish in the water? I just wanna go for a swim. It's so beautiful. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Wait, Hello. Uh, mittens high. Already fought Kupka once. Yeah, we did. Excuse me. Are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Bordello? Do you think we can trust him? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of further. scared. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. Okay. Soil. Stay down. <laughs> The voice acting when Clive uses his, um, titan skills is so good. Camera. Okay, it's fine. Uh. <laughs> he flew through the air. It's just funny at this point. 
Oh, favorite Clive voice line is a subtle sigh it gives you enough to fight wild mobs. <laughs> yeah. He's like, not this again. <laughs> Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Oh. Though one could hardly call that a test. <laughs> Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She Rosina? Be interested to make his acquaintance. Okay. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure then. To the lock of leisure. Hmm. Okay, it would be perfect if they added ragdoll effects. Hey, that would stonework. be too funny. Like, I don't think I'd be able to play the game. What's this say? Once you go flat. Like eating a cloud with a crust. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like pita. Take a sniff, good sir. My carpet's. Is this the place? Oh, Google look at those forge, swords. The Briar's Kiss. Oh. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Oh. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. Nina! Hi, Nina, welcome in. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Hmm. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? Sid the second. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. We need is trust. And so for you, I do have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. <laughs> Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Okay. He's a silly guy. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, 
five times my age? Okay. <laughs> but enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. Just what trouble? Just put an end to the trouble. Orders, be clear about them, damn you! Sorry, is gonna say. Beard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? <laughs> my apologies. A word of advice <laughs> and recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child. Okay, player. Byron. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not <laughs> drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. All right. Good luck, Uncle. All right. <laughs> Follow the crystals. Um, Mio, hello, Raffy, hi. What's causing trouble in Delamil. Yeah, what? So we have to speak with the townspeople again. Okay, let's read about him. Yeah, he's a, he's a silly little riddle guy. Mm hmm. Glad that despite all the plot that's happened, it still holds true that 16, yes, has the hottest sin. Mm hmm. I love it. Forge master of the Briar's Kiss, the finest smithy in Dalamil. Lubert is also the desert hare, an ally of Sids who once went by the name of Ruzena Dalamil. Okay. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Okay. Um, also, thank you for the follows, everyone. Wait, can I read this quest? Follow the crystals. Clive and Byron learned that the enigmatic Rosanna Dalamil is in fact a young man by the name of Lubor, who demands they prove themselves by putting an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Putting an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then? I've heard rumors. <laughs> Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light So people are stealing the crystals. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, what does it say? For the best drop in Dalamil, visit the final sting. A deposit. Light meat and dark, fresh from the grill. You wouldn't believe how much he gave you. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Ugh, oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. This is so pretty. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. All right, let's go say hi to Byron. My carpets have 
Where is he? Oh, here he is. Don, welcome back. I hope work's been going well. Clive is doing wonderful. We are currently in... What is this place called? The Delmecan Republic? At the Dalmel Inn? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Is my uncle I'm here? Looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but Oh god, but what what did he get himself into? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. What if he's just sleeping? It's like I needed to take a little nap. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? The bribery. Byron is such a sneaky lad. What is he up to? Bar, hi, welcome in. Yeah, I've been having so much fun with the Titan abilities. Also, uh, Nico, hello. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small Jeez. price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. Mm. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. <laughs> it just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll see. So true. <laughs> his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy. Far from prying eyes. Okay. The per in the desert. A spot of double dealing. Oh I trust lord! I can count on your support if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. <sighs> All right. I need to drink. Um. On your second playthrough, you've been playing with no gear. Feels like you're playing Fucking a Souls game. Ooh. I love that. Okay, so we have to go all the way out there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go out there because that's like, I think that's a dock. So I think I'm going to travel here. And then we can just go out to the desert. When are we eating Clive emojis? That would be amazing. That'd be so cute. I don't know if I'll make any Clive emojis. I was thinking about getting some cute, like, Moogle emotes. So I've seen some on, uh... Etsy. 
like pre-made emotes on Etsy. Ready and they're go. really adorable. Hey Soccer, how are you? Um don't have a PS5 watching the gameplay that's making you so uh emotional you have Crisis Core on your Switch? Oh my gosh, yes. I hope you enjoy Crisis Core. Do you think you'll play 7 at any point after Crisis Core? All right. I think it's time to f fight, maybe. I feel like they're going to have us fight something here. I'll take it from here. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all those crystals. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. I'm scared. Holy crap. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Mm. Oh. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? <laughs> They're in cahoots! <sighs> so They're in think. cahoots! My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Rat row. Kill them. Kill them both. <laughs> oh, Lord. Whoa. Come on, Clive. There you go. <laughs> it's not over yet, Uncle. Uh. I'm just getting warmed up. Lord, guys, I'm sweating. Hello. Oh, you brought your chocobo with you. Come on. I don't want to hit them. Ow. 
Slay. <laughs> Um, you're going through Facebook Marketplace for a PS5? Yeah, I got mine at Target actually in December because I think that's when they started having them in stock more in stores. Are you still waiting to hear back from the maintenance folks? Yeah, for my AC, yes. Also, my ice machine is broken too in my, in my refrigerator and I'm like, what's going on? Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? <laughs> I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. I Don't love you? him. Graybeard, you oh. were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. It's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. And... Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. We did it. You get cursed or something? I don't know, Don. First AC, <laughs> then the stomach virus. Now no ice machine. The ice ma machine's like not a big deal, but it's it still annoying. To me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so Sid the second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. <laughs> well, Clive. You held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the <laughs> this same. kid passage through the south gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very <laughs> much. Greybeard. Double the... <laughs> this is so silly. Here, wear this. What we get? Oh, we got another seal. Okay, the desert Any road. Friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubo. Thank you. And please, feel free to send one of my stolases back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Now, let's hope that I'm owl doesn't get caught. Sid, or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> A silly man. I love Clive's little smile. It makes me so happy. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. 
Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Alright, nice. Class sounds like a British jazz player. <laughs> jazz bass player? He really does. Like, who chose the name? I cheer you. Lubor is a representation of all the people thought Clive was a funny name uh, on a grizzled badass. Yeah, like our protect here. <laughs> and Jolty, no worries. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. We're getting pretty far through this game, y'all. I've never even forged a button. What do you want? Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Least accomplished? Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Mm -mm. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. Do I want to help you? I don't know. Like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been. And that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. He loves his riddles. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to mm. every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. I don't Let's know if I want to do this one. Useful. Carving out a niche. Of course my controller battery is low. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I'm, I'm gonna do it. not gonna do that. Okay, so we have to make for Drake's Fang. Which is. Jeez, uh, is all the way over there? Okay, I need to turn on the. um the fan because I'm getting really warm <laughs> one sec okay No, literally, why is the controller battery life so bad on the PS5 controller? I don't understand. I wonder if they're ever going to make make the battery better in like new iterations. Do you want to get threads? You're back on Tumblr. Oh my god, the amount of fanfics you're seeing on Final Fantasy. I love that. Also, just raining. Hello. I'm loving the game. My day is going pretty good, too. Are you also playing this game? So your favorite Final Fantasy protagonist has a five letter name beginning with CL. Could be two different people. Good. Which one is it? Okay, do I go this way? The most fragrant herbs and fresh bread, warm from the oven. I think I do go this way. Turn on the vibration. Oh, you found it helps a little? Okay. Yeah, and maybe like if you turn off the sound. Open the gate. Lubor was true to his word. 
So I noticed, um, like, oh. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. What do you want? Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. Of course. <laughs> Isn't there always? Clive is so used to this. If you to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Clive is so slay. <laughs> um, so random, where have you been finding wall to core for your new space? Ooh. I feel like I haven't gotten a lot. But I get a lot of like I get a lot of this stuff on Etsy. Um Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? I'm trying to think of what else. I think I got uh, a print at Target as well. Also, hi Nicole. Missed a few streams. Did his hair get longer? So Clive went through like a five year. Um, we had a five year time skip. So now he's 33. <laughs> I don't know if you were here for that. But he's 33 now. His hair's longer. He's more scruffy. And I'm so here for it. Oh, look at that. This is so pretty. Okay. Um, PS5 will keep the mic on. Oh, so it'll look out for voice commands the whole time? I had no idea. I also didn't even know you could do voice commands on the PS5. It's this way. What is this place? This is the spring which provides the water oh. to the Dalamil Inn's famous healing baths. I wouldn't mind having a dip myself. <laughs> if we didn't have more pressing matters to attend to, of course. So these are the springs where you can heal your boils, you guys. I don't think I would go in them. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I would go in there where other people have put their boils in. <laughs> All right, we gotta go this way. Yeah, Nintendo controllers, they... They stay alive for so much longer, it's actually crazy. The jaw is what they call this place. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Is that a volcano or a mountain? There it is. Drake's Fang. Oh. That's the crystal. Kuku will be hiding inside. Right? Hello? Drake's Fang. Yeah, one of Valestia's five remaining mother crystals located in the Dalmecian Republic. Unlike its sisters, who jut from the earth to tower above the landscape, Drake's Fang is completely enclosed within the vast hollow of an ageless mountain, its citrine fingers reaching inward to the barrow's heart. Excavation of these crystals has, over centuries, showered the Dalmecs with substantial fortune and as such is seen as a symbol of the nation's prosperity. 
Dalmechian Republic, a nation formed from a federation of five smaller states, is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and has its capital at Rendella, also home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Fang, inside which stands Castle Dasbog, home of Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan. Kupka, obsessed with finding Sid and exacting his revenge for the murder of Benedicta Harmon, co-opted the soldiers of the realm and had them commit a series of atrocities in an attempt to flush him out of hiding. With goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. For what? After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin. Like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation strove to improve the plight of bearers. This Only music? I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. I love I him. Desire. By extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? He's so good. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. No! Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. I'm so then. sad. Go safely, Uncle. Please don't die. And you, nephew. Please don't die. <laughs> we have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. Don't say that. Don't say that. You can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> That was so nice. I'm coming for you, Kuka. <laughs> Clive is such a slayer. <laughs> I love everything about him. God. Alrighty. Woo. <laughs> I know, getting emotional at the uncle nephew bond. It's too good. Also, Mac Reaper, hi, welcome in. Yeah, thank you for being the only good and present familial connection in his life. 
All right. <laughs> Look at that. That's wild. Oh. Oh, God. What is this dog? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I think shield mode accidentally got turned on. Let me see if I can turn this off. How do I turn this off? Um, Kira, hi! Thank you so much for the 24 months. There we go. Did that work? Thank you, Don. Kira, thank you for the 24 months. Welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. What's been my favorite part of the game so far? Oh, how do I even choose? Honestly, the first thing that comes to mind is... Recently, like, the Hugo fight. That was so much fun. I loved it. Um, Sarek, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. I appreciate that. Favorite part, Clive, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> don't know what shield mode is it like i think what what does it even do i think it protects from hate raids and stuff so it like clears chat and i think it enables subscribers only mode maybe um and slow mode oh yeah accepting the truth that was really cool too and also seeing that um joshua was alive i love that too yeah and the time skip everything about this game is just so good Okay, uh, let's continue this. <laughs> this poor girl. Oh my god, what are you gonna- Jesus Christ! I'll kill you, Rossfield! I'll rip out your heart! I'll tear you! Lip from lip! He's all talk. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. <laughs> he sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. Oh, well, this is the mysterious man. <laughs> okay. Continue. Titan would have ground him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough. And you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Harbert. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! Mm. But so long as that fire burns within you, yeah, there is I... still hope. I think he still has, like, Titan for you to within him. Your Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just... Tell me. <gasps> it's right there. The heart. A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power. But others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta? Like Benedicta Harmon. He knows this? She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. 
düşüdün. Literally all Hugo does is get manipulated. He yells and he gets manipulated, that's it. I kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Oh, Lord. Harvard? Muthos is here. <gasps> Very well, it shall be so. Harbert is peak manipulator. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So he's like... He's working with Ultima? Harbert, what the hell? Okay. Dang it, I wish I did ATL during that. To read about him. It's stinky. Oh. What the frick? Yum. <laughs> Did the royalists bring them from ash? Oh God. <laughs> Into the darkness. Lordy, okay wait. Can I check my abilities quick? Oh, I only have 223 ability points. Yeah, his voice actor is really good. Hugo is called a genius by Laura, but thus far he's just been a big meat stick. I <laughs> mean, protagonist with for sure. Like, I feel bad. And dinner served, not this. Kind of ironic considering that Hugo's introduction had him exploiting the Delmay King governors. Using the power of the Titan to enrich himself, now he's just a pawn. Yeah, on Harbert's chessboard. The progression. It's crazy. Okay, let me make sure I save. It's just you and me, Torgal. Are the beast and part of the Waluda army now? Oh, Ooh, look at the man. rats. Rats. Spotted us with me. Oh. Slay. Amazing. I was trying to block, but I didn't have my Titan powers activated. Taken over the entire mine. They're everywhere. Disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> 
Oh, I always forget to um, wind that one up. for the men of the rock yeah y'all suck y'all suck <laughs> um dang we can't read about that guy i already forgot his name the one working with Ultima. Okay, Ash, though slightly smaller than her sister to the west, the eastern continent of Valencia is markedly more altitudinous. Her lightly wooded shores guarded on all sides by nigh unscalable cliffs. Having been ravaged by the blight still more grievously than storm, the, king the kingdom of Alud is now her sole remaining nation. Okay, Harbor, that's right, thank you. What are you doing? Nice. Is there something in here that I missed? No? Oh. Are these crystals? I thought those were bananas at first. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if... I think those are crystals. that oh that must be someone doing magic ow are their bodies like release something when they die no 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 someone's doing magic okay who is doing that We go in toggle. Oh. To the door. 
Um, anyone here played Stranger Paradise? Aging for more after finishing 16. I actually haven't heard of Stranger Paradise. Is that like supposed to be similar to this game? Or is it new? <gasps> Favor of lightning? Too bad we aren't using lightning. Wish my moral compass was as good as Torwell navigating Stairs. same. This must be the way out. Ooh. Hello. The way we're fighting going up the stairs right now. What the hell? Oops. Get out of here. Okay. <gasps> oh, this looks fun. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun. Oh, great. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> okay. Nice try. I wanna. Oh, frick. I always forget to wind that up. Nice. Ow, that hurts. Stop what is going on. Okay. Damn it, I'm trying to block that! <laughs> no, I want to block! Nice try. Oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't try blocking. No, okay, we're not gonna try that. Can't see what the hell I'm doing. Jesus Christ, this is annoying. <laughs> to me, boy. Y'all, what in the world? What the hell? Nice. Alright, 
I blocked that that time. Shit. Oh, okay. Was such an annoying boss. He was quick. The magic. My God. And we got meteorite. Okay. Okay. Um. More action focus like this game. Uh, the wait. What was the one that we were talking about called? Stranger Paradise. Okay. It's more dungeon crawler, definitely a side title because the story isn't as good as mainline Final Fantasy. So it is a Final Fantasy game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Look at that! Clive, that was kind of a close one, and we used up all of our potions. <laughs> Sad. Oh, thank you, Torgal. I know, the boss cannot use magic. It is not allowed. I don't know why they would do that. A bad new bot and it's not bad? Pretty decent. <gasps> Whoa, look at the- what the hell? By the flames. Come on, Togo. I would hate living down here. There's like no light. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the mother crystal for his own wasn't enough. Okay, we got potions. Mm. This is amazing. I love the environment in this game. Like all the environments. Okay, let me save. <laughs> Sir, let the trial begin. Great! Undertaker? Okay. Whoa! You're- you got a big hit. Slay.
<laughs> what is it? Zoom! Oh shit, okay. Right in his butt. Easier than the other one we just fought. <laughs> Another thunder, thunder bracelet. Seems were expected. Yep. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can we read about him? Lord Harper. Hmm. Lord Commander of the King of Walud's armies, Harbert is known to many as the Constant Knight by reason of his unchangingly icy demeanor and his unwavering loyalty to his liege. Indeed, he appears to command Barnabas's complete trust, having been gifted full command of the Royal Order of Knights despite his apparent youth. The capacity in which he evacuated Hugo Kupika from Rosalith Castle, however, remains a mystery. This man is immortal. I don't know. It's creepy. Maybe he's not human. <laughs> he's a power bottle. <laughs> also, May, hello, Don. Thanks for grabbing your seat. <laughs> okay. So this is the power of Muthos. Muthos. They really do pronounce it like that. Hugo's gonna have a huge tantrum when he sees us. Uh oh. Did the orcs do this too? Hmm. Who was it? <laughs> 16 SFM boys. <laughs> yeah, they do. They got harbored. Um, I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> they really do. Square Enix does such a good job with character design. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, you're just gonna fall down there, sure. Farewell. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, they're falling all over the place. For me i think they're here for me dion that's true dion is a twink <laughs> i love dion <laughs> look at that throne oh bravery okay Okay, we need to get to the specter. doing that where where did you go So it's harbored. Oh, God. Um, of course. Oh, we got a lift. Bitch. Oh, let's not die here. this oh my god this is bad okay we we need to run away you need to heal me torgle oh my god Yard. I'm getting beat the hell up. Nice try. Thank God.
Jesus. <sighs> I'm fine. That was great. <laughs> Where do we go, Torgal? I'm guessing to the end of the hallway. Maybe. Sure. <sighs> I think Torgal killed the smelly caster. Oh, good. As he should. Where are we supposed to go, Torgal? Through this door? I thought we came in this door. Okay. You've been busy, oh. <laughs> The way Clive sees a broken table and is like, yup. That was Kupka's doing. Where did you go? It's a huge bed. The heart. He's in the sanctuary. Oh, man. Come on, Toggle. How do we get down there? Okay. Yeah, Clive recognizes the baby tantrum when he sees it. <laughs> huge dudes in huge beds, I guess so. It's like two king beds in one. Um. Uh... God, thank God for these potions. Uh, I'm a bit scared. The inner sanctum. Just what I needed. How annoying. Come on. Who's doing that? Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Oh my god, these specters are the worst. That had better be the last of them. <sighs> Hate those things. I hope that's the last of them too. Hi Shira, welcome in and Babby, hi. Thank you for lurking. Yes, I'm so excited for Juicy Guys in day two. Oh. He's seeing things. Ah! I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. Dude. What's wrong with him? I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh. Get away 
from her. Benedicta! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll kill you, Rosbrook! What? <laughs> I was like, what, what did I do? <laughs> Uh oh. He's gonna bring the crystal down himself. Oh shit. He's priming. No. Not now. Clive. Such a slayer. Oh no, not the hooded man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, Avery looks so tiny! He looks so tiny compared to him! Oh god. Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't have hands! <laughs> You're ridiculous! Oh, okay, just kidding. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Come on, man. We got this. This will be totally fine. Oh, he's doing flips and everything. Okay. Oh. This is so sick. What the hell? Okay, we're fine. Come on, Clive. Nice. 
nice. That is so gross. Oh, where are you going? So like a shield? Okay. Guys, the graphics are so good. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Brimstone. Okay, hold and release R2 and square to emit a violent explosion. Hold it longer to increase explosion size and strength. R2. Okay. <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay. Let's give this a try. Ah! Okay. Whoa! Alright, 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 buddy. Oh, man. It's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do... Shaker, what the hell is that?
Let's go. <laughs> You're so tiny, Ifri. No. What the hell? Munch. Is there another phase? What the hell is he done? <laughs> what? Oh god, it's coming right for us. Yo, Ifri is zooming! This is so sick! <laughs> oh, so I can hit those. Okay, 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 okay. Do this. Oh, okay. We just run the arms. Guys, what is this game? Oh, shit. Let's go. Okay, that like that barely did damage. <laughs> I've got you now. Oh lord. All right. Let me heal up. Let's be careful here.
All right. We are hit by that? Come on. Guys, this game just keeps getting better. And I don't understand it. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh shit, I need to pay attention. Fuck, babe. Damn it, I missed with that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, still fine damage. <sighs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating right now. Oh god, okay, okay. What is the lyrics? There's song or there's words. Jesus.
Oh shit, I didn't mean to run into that. Nice. All right, we're not gonna miss this this time. Oh god. Guys, Clive is him. Clive is that man. He is Ifrit. Can't see what's happening. Clive, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh, 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 okay, 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 I see.
Are we hitting that thing? Oh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting. Okay. Damage. What the fuck? Are we inside of him right now? We're still going. We're still going. You suck. You suck, Hugo. Ouch. Okay, okay. I- why didn't I dodge that? Y'all, the music? What in the world? What am I playing right now? Any more heals kind of makes me scared. Can I dodge that? Nice. 
Nice. That fight! Holy shit! <laughs> what is Square Enix doing? What are they doing in the office? <laughs> I'm sweating! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I love Clive. I love Ifri. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath after that. I love the music. So beautiful. Wow. Oh, he turned to stone. The curse. Oh no. Where's Torgal? Where's Torgal during all this? Five. Never! 
No. Joshua. Consciousness. We see now. Human will is so insubstantial it cannot exist in isolation. You mitigate its weakness by interweaving it with your consciousness. We believed we had merely to purge you of your will to claim our vessel. Oh my god, his arms. It appears we first have to sever every thread of the consciousness that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Right, creepy ass. So they want to build a new world? I need Joshua and Clive to meet again. Please. That was insane. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. He has the exact same hair as Ultima. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, <laughs> but it seems his head was full of rocks. His head was full of rocks. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Muthos is stronger. Barnabas knows about Muthos? For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. <laughs> a fool like all the rest. He's such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> also thank you for the follows everyone hi cash will come in oh okay The death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Wow. Another one's down. So there's what, two more? Some medicine, my lord. Medicine girl. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. 
And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. He doesn't want to go to war. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. I knew it. He's too fruity. He's so fru fru. <laughs> Forgive me, Terence. Dion and Terence. You, my master. <laughs> but alas, I will always be your loyal servant. I'm fru fru. He's a pretty boy. <laughs> Dion, I love you. Oh my god, Terrence. Terrence looks so sad. Griffin, Dion's your favorite, honestly, like... He's very quickly becoming mine too. I barely have met him yet. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them cutting across the central aisles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. <laughs> he is also one, so good. Mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. True. Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? <laughs> Olivier has been made emperor. Fuck! He's what, like ten? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. <sighs> what is it now? <gasps> Joshua! Forgive the intrusion, your highness. Oh my god, Joshua and Dion! I know you. I love them! <laughs> We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect <laughs> such a distinguished guest. They're having a pretty boy off. <laughs> How many years has it been since the remembrance ceremony? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? <laughs> Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage. I have a tale to tell you. <gasps> this is so good. I love them. I love them so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Twin contest go. <laughs> oh lord. What am I supposed to do? Go to the hideaway? Okay. <laughs> I know I would like to hear the tale too. 
We have to wait. We have to wait a little bit longer. My god. Clive's gonna come back and be like, hey. Uh... Anyone want to congratulate me? <laughs> For taking down Titan and another Mother Crystal? I better give Otto the good news. <laughs> oh, guys, this was an amazing stream. This is so fun. Like, what is this game? I am constantly amazed at everything that we do. At every stream, it's just so much fun.